Good afternoon, sir. If you could please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Uh, my name is Chris Manro, M-A-N-R-O-E. I'm a battalion chief for the city of Chula Vista. Well, sir, we're at the scene of a large fire that it's happened here several times. It's a junkyard homeless encampment, and we've even had people die in these fires. And then we just noticed that the police were heavily armed because of the violence against firefighters and others. So can you talk about this fire? Yeah, this fire uh, initially came out as a trailer on fire. Um, crews got on scene and they found uh, actually about three trailers on fire initially. Um, it was upgraded to a uh, additional engine and then once the battalion chiefs got on scene, we upgraded it to a commercial industrial response just because of the threat on your structures. Uh, total count um, as of this point is five RVs and a cement truck as long as additional trash and debris um, inside the structure. There was no injuries and um, to firefighters or civilians. Um, this is habitated by uh, numerous people, so that was obviously a, a concern for us. And yeah, we have, we have had numerous fires in this area. Um, the city is doing, making efforts to try to... Uh, um, clean up? Clean up and, and make it a little safer for the uh, residents and also just for the community itself. I mean, people are not supposed to be living in this junkyard and yet we've got a lot of them here. And again, it's alarming to see that when the police have to arm themselves with, the, with rifles to protect firefighters and everyone else. Yeah, it's, uh, we're thankful that the uh, Chula Vista Police is here to assist us. They're always good partners to aid and uh, our, to make sure that we're safe. And um, yeah, with the current current climate, current times, with uh, just people being displaced, it's, it's a rough situation for everybody to be in and we feel for them. And I understand it's under investigation, we don't have a cause yet? Yeah, that's correct. Um, our investigators in route and they're going to be taking a look and see if, uh, if they can determine what started that. Okay, anything you'd like to add, sir? No, I just uh, thank you for your time and uh, hope everybody stays safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you.